Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. The recent Sino US chip war has taken on a new twist. Just last week, the Cyberspace Administration of China, CAC, suddenly summoned NVIDIA for a meeting, targeting the H20 chip, specifically for China. Regulators suspect the chip contains a hidden, remote switch that could cripple Chinese AI companies at any time. The news sent the internet into a frenzy. After all, Chinese companies have already amassed $18 billion worth of H20 chips, and a potential disaster would devastate the entire industry. NVIDIA's chief security officer, David Raber, wrote a short essay overnight and released a statement simultaneously on its Chinese website and Weibo, with the headline, NVIDIA chips do not have backdoors, kill switches, or monitoring software. The man, frantically, uttered no three times and issued a harsh warning, installing a backdoor in a chip. That's an invitation to disaster. This controversy embodies the crucial battle between China and the US in the technological arena. The US Chip Security Act, which just took effect this year, mandates that all exported chips be equipped with a positioning module, while China's data security law directly prohibits data from leaving the country. The H20 chip is like a sandwich, squeezing and creaking between the policies of two major powers. NVIDIA has been dealt a real blow this time. While the H20's performance may not rival the latest flagships, its exclusive CUDA ecosystem has become a lifeline for Chinese AI companies. Since time, Baidu and Alibaba are all scrambling to get it, with orders this year swamping production lines. However, testing by Chinese technical teams has revealed that certain service ports can be remotely activated. In other words, there's a theoretical risk of manipulation. In his statement, Reber directly exposed the company's technical weaknesses. Pointing to chip schematics, he explained, the power management unit has no control channels at all. All firmware code is open to inspection, and even the power switch is in the hands of the user. To prove their innocence, NVIDIA used international certifications as a shield, the ISO 27701 certificate stamped by the German TV agency, and a stack of test reports for its autonomous driving platform, Drive Hyperion, half a man's height. Most damningly, he brought up a case from 30 years ago to refute the company's claims. The Clipper chip, developed by the NSA in 1993, was completely thwarted by a backdoor. Hackers are gaining access through backdoors, turning government surveillance programs into global security disasters. Planting mines in hardware. You're going to make the same mistake again. Reber's words were a slap in the face to policymakers. Veterans in the chip industry understand the INS and outs of this. Installing a backdoor in hardware is like drilling a hole in a bank vault wall and posting a notice saying vulnerability here. Hackers would probably celebrate with firecrackers, system vulnerabilities that can never be fixed are a haven for attackers. An NVIDIA engineer, in a statement, likened it to buying a car and letting the dealership control the brakes only to have them lock the steering wheel if they get angry. The Chinese regulators' demands hit home. NVIDIA must now hand over the complete H20 design, including every line of firmware code and circuit board layout. A security white paper is being rushed, and the labs at its Silicon Valley headquarters are ablaze with lights. Industry insiders rumored that if the review fails, H20 orders worth hundreds of billions of yuan could be wiped out instantly. This game is rewriting the rules of the game. Huawei's Ascend chip has suddenly become a hot commodity, achieving 80% of the performance of the H20 in AI model tests. SMIC's 5 nanometers production line started production three months ahead of schedule, with the first batch of wafers already coming off the production line. The CTO of a Beijing cloud computing company privately revealed that buying servers now requires on-site chip disassembly and microscopic examination of the circuit layers before signing for them. Lieber put a lot of thought into the final paragraph of his statement. Each letter was carved like a chisel into steel, 
hardware integrity should be unbiased and non-negotiable. This statement went viral in Silicon Valley tech circles, with some engineers printing it out and posting it at their workstations. After all, for chip designers, being accused of backdoors is like being accused of poisoning a dish, it's a literal loss of their jobs. Chinese tech companies are frantically stockpiling. At 3 a.m., the purchasing director of an AI unicorn posted a picture on WeChat Moments, H20 boxes piled to the ceiling in the warehouse. The caption read, Backdoor or not, without these chips, production will cease tomorrow. Regulators testing equipment has already been rolled into the Zhongjiang data center, with signal analyzers monitoring the current fluctuations of each chip 24-7. This chip rashomon is tearing the global tech world apart. Silicon Valley venture capital godfather Peter Thiel published an overnight post, calling it a new trench in the tech cold war. In cafes in Beijing's Zhongguanquan, investors debated circuit diagrams until their coffee spilled. Ordinary users, scrolling through their phones, were bewildered, so even computer graphics cards have to choose sides now. NVIDIA's engineers were furious. In the technical documentation appended to the statement, they even disclosed voltage test data, when the chip was in deep sleep, the current readings on all communication ports were zero. This kind of self-defeating self-affirmation is extremely rare in chip history. It's like cutting open your heart to show you an electrocardiogram. An emergency meeting of the Shanghai Semiconductor Industry Association stretched all night. The conference room was filled with smoke, and the ashtrays were piled with cigarette butts. The corporate representatives at the meeting were divided into two camps, arguing furiously. Some slammed the table and demanded an immediate halt to all NVIDIA chips, while others held up production line reports and shouted that any such halt would lead to collective bankruptcy. The final minutes contained only two lines. A dual-track approach is recommended, with the trial period for domestically produced chips shortened to two weeks. Lieber's warning is becoming a reality. As chips become more than just silicon crystals, but a bargaining chip in the power struggle between major powers, every technical parameter is tinged with political undertones. A Silicon Valley engineer complained on a tech forum, now, every transistor design requires checking the laws of both countries. Even more absurd, a hacker group publicly offered a million-dollar bounty. Whoever finds a backdoor in H20 will receive an immediate Bitcoin reward. There are no winners in this battle for trust in chips. As Chinese programmers uploaded NVIDIA driver analysis tools to GitHub, as the US Department of Commerce reviewed export licenses, and as ordinary users watched graphics card prices skyrocket again, everyone was suffering the bitter consequences of a technological divide. LIBO's statement concluded with a boldface caption, We will never trade user security. But the reality is that chips have already become a new battlefield.